Yo guys, so it is day two of having the stores up. We're an hour away of closing down. It's quieting down quite a lot in the stores. But it's been so amazing to talk to people about blood and organ donation this weekend. And encouraging... <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like it's sometimes it's discouraging because I think there's some people that no are never gonna be convinced to be completely honest or not by you anyway only if they had a life-changing event or something that would convince them and I don't believe in judging people for that. I really don't. I think that a gift is a gift. You can't be mad at someone for not giving a gift and giving blood and um Signing up to be an organ donor is a gift. Um, but I've had some really encouraging conversations with people who have started off being uncomfortable with the thought of blood donation and organ donation and have just completely changed their mind by the end of the conversation and said, actually, do you know what? It's just something I never really thought about. And then even more so, the number of people who have come up to me and said, I'm so glad you're doing this. This is really needed in our community. We really need to get the ball rolling. And encouraged me, blessed me, and, and have just been so on board with this mission of changing the perspective and the, the assumptions surrounding blood and organ donation among our community. For example, I just had a girl come up to me completely out of the blue and said, hey, are you still taking sign-ups? She was 16 years old and she was like, I really want to be an organ donor. She would love the idea of helping someone else um, if she were to pass away. And I was like, wow, that's incredible. That is super incredible. And so we just chatted about it and I encouraged her to speak to her family. She said that she hadn't spoken to her parents about it yet. So I said, I'll just send her some information on it so that when she has that conversation, she's fully equipped with, you know, what the facts are and what um, the Bible even says about it from a religious perspective and just getting her family completely on board. The NHS would never take someone's organs if the family wouldn't have happy with it and um, so it's not just about signing up it's about having that conversation with your loved ones as well and um, but that encouraged me so much that she was like wow that's a good thing that I'm gonna seek out she came and found me and um, and wanted to sign up so that was really encouraging as well I'm just I'm overwhelmed overwhelmed <laughs> hey do you want to introduce yourself yeah so um, uh, my name is Joshua hey. I'm uh, 23 and I'm a musician Awesome. Yeah. And what are you doing here at the conference? Um, so my, my dad's actually a guest speaker here. To be a blood donor today? Yeah, 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 yeah I did. Um, and uh, funny enough, I've heard of it um, before, um, but never taken action. But obviously that's like due to like uh, multiple reasons, so yeah. yeah. So what do you think is the reason that you didn't take action before? Uh, I'll just say I didn't kind of... I didn't kind of look into it, um, mm -hmm. one, so what I mean by that is I've heard about it, I've seen adverts, but I never like, you know, went online or went on Google to kind of do research about why it's important to give blood. I've heard reasons as to why it's important, but never gone beyond just, like, basic knowledge. Yeah. Um, so, um... So what changed yeah. today, then, that made you actually sign up? I'd say, um, I was, I, was, I received the education, basically, or let's say, like, <laughs> A 101 dummies education for yeah. donating blood. Um, so I realized that a number of people actually have diseases, and donating blood can actually be the difference or yeah. part of their healing process. Um, and I realized it's bigger than me. Um, wow. So my blood, knowing that my blood can save lives, um, is kind of a big deal. So I thought, okay, mm -hmm. well, as long as I ain't dying to make sure someone else is living, <laughs> even though that sounds like so unchristian, like. Nah, nah, that's cool. I mean, as long as I'm helping someone, yeah. essentially, then it's cool. And I just felt it was a noble thing. I thought, you know, I can put out on a checklist mm. of noble things I've done in 2018. Awesome. My sister's the one who actually got me on it. She was like, yes, yeah, so why don't we do it together? So what would you say to anyone watching who's like, nah, it's a blood donation? Or is unsure about it? I'd say, I think for a lot of people, and I'm sure some people, a lot of people have different reasons for not wanting to get into it. Um, because, oh, like, is it gonna hurt, etc. Mm. Blah, blah. And these are like valid things to think about. Yeah. I think my passing message will just be um, when you kind of think about the fact that something that you have that you're not lacking mm. in, that mm. you can spare to give to someone else and it doesn't affect you, mm. um, can change their life and sustain theirs. Yeah. Uh, I think that really is what life is really about. It's about giving back, giving to other people mm -hmm. and other people who might be in need. You don't need to wait to have a million pounds mm -hmm. to change someone's life. Your, your blood could be the could be the starting point. Thank you so much. Uh, it's cool, you're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate that.